Hi guys, Mon here with a brand new video for you on my Trumpeter 1350 uh, USS Les Sullivan's converted into the USS Heron. So, uh, a little fact on the Fletcher class itself. The length was 376.5 feet, which is roughly 114 meters, give or take. Um, the beam was 39.5 feet long, so how wide it was, um, like 120 meters, something like that. The draft was 17.5 uh, feet, so how deep it went in the water, or 5.3 meters. Uh, correct, tell me if I did my math correct, but I believe that's what it is. Its top speed was 36.5 knots, or 67.6 a kilometer kilometers sorry you guys and 42 miles an hour um its range how far it could go without refueling i believe is uh 5500 miles at 15 knots um it would carry 329 men enlisted and officers it carried five single inch five inch 38 caliber guns Six to ten um, milli 40 millimeter bow force mounts, uh, which was the latest models, and I think it believe carried 20 millimeter cannons in the earlier models. Um, and then it also carried seven to twelve 20 millimeter Orlikans. Uh, sorry, sorry guys. The Sullivan's. Uh, it's a bit of a sad story how it's God's name. Uh, one would think from you know the Battle of the Sullivan Islands. Uh, but no, it got its name from five brothers who served in the South or in the Pacific, I guess. Uh, aging from range, age from like 20 to 27, uh, and they were all lost. Uh, so it's basically the whole Saving Private Ryan thing, just in the Pacific. And so that's how this ship got their name. But uh, since I already had the USS Gambier Bay going, I wanted to do a different ship, DD-532, instead of DD-537, the uh, Heerman. Uh, the Heerman was part of Taffy 3. Uh, it took place in the Battle of Samar, where it was heavily damaged, uh, battling cruisers and the Yamato. Uh, the Yamato retreated shortly after that. The Gambier Bay was sunk. Uh, the Johnston wasn't sunk. Uh, that was heavily damaged, I believe, or sunk. And the Samuel B. Roberts uh, was sunk at the Battle of Samar. Uh, the Sullivan's is a museum ship today. Uh, I believe the Heerman was either sunk, as I said, or it was scrapped. So let's get on to the Trumpeter kit itself. So the Trumpeter kit, um, it was, it's an okay kit. Um... I didn't decide to go with PE on this one, you know, just have a bit of fun. Uh, so, what, uh, if I can get to focus, there we go. So, major fit issues, uh, like right there, uh, right there, if you can see. There's some, mainly featuring, like, these types of pieces. Uh, it didn't really mark on the instructions very well. And, like, if you can imagine a ridge, it didn't really fit on the ridge or in front of the ridge like it's supposed to. Um, smokestacks didn't really go together very well. Um, these depth charge racks didn't go together well at all either. But other than that, no real complaints. Just a bit of patience should do it. Um, paint scheme, I believe this is measure... Whew. I don't remember which measure, and I'm not going to make up uh, two random numbers, so I'll just annotate that in. Um, if I can find it, I forgot. Uh, so, this is a pretty, uh, substantial kit. I just have some other things to do on it, like add the screws in, add some more guns, and that should be good to go. The 5-inch guns were went together very well. Uh, the lower hull I forgot to mention was that was a bit of a fit issue. What you see right here is some um, perfect plastic putty, I believe it's called. I don't have it on the top of me, but it's water-based, so I had some of that go in, but it's ridged. Uh, yeah, other than that, it's a great kit, and I do recommend it. 
uh, maybe for beginners, but you gotta have some patience with this, you guys. It's one of those types of kits. Um, but uh, an update for Matt Hill's build, uh, group build. Um, well, in a way, this is kind of funny. Uh, but not really, I guess. I seem to have misplaced uh, the fuselage on my lightning. I sprayed it. Uh, I went on vacation for like a week and then I couldn't find it again so I don't know what I'm gonna do about that uh, but you know what we'll find out and you guys I'll see you in the next video um, peace